Okay, so this problem it says our cash has a liability of six thousand due in four years, right? Now the liability met with payments of A in two years, right? And payments of B in six years. Okay, so this looks like a full immunization problem, liability sandwiched in between two assets. Our cash is employing using the fact that find A and B. So we wanna find out what these payments are, correct? So the first uh, rule of immunization is that we wanna make sure that the uh, present value of assets are equal to present value of liabilities, right? So what we're gonna do here is that we are going to do, we're gonna discount the liability of 6,000 to four, right? Now let's go on the roll with this. Let me get my so it'll be 6,000 times 1.05 to the negative 4. So all assets and liabilities must equal 4936.21, right? Now, another second rule is that the duration of assets also need to equal the duration of liabilities, right? So now we're going to have to take the duration of A times X, because this will consist of how much of A consists of this present value, plus B, which B's duration, 6, 1 minus X equals the duration of um, the liability, right? So what is, so we have to find the duration of the liability in this case, right? So we already found its present value. All we need to do is find the numerator, how the numerator will work, right? So we could do, Well, since the liability has uh, 6,000, we can do um, 6,000 Yeah, we could do 6,000 times four to the V to the four, right? Over the present value, which is four, nine, three, six, point twenty one, right? So we're gonna do twenty four thousand times one point zero five to and we're going to get 19744.8594 divided by 4936.21, and it's going to be 4. Right. Now we're going to solve for x. So 2x plus 6 minus 6x equals 4. We're going to subtract 6 to the other side, and we're going to get negative 2. Then we're going to do 4, negative 4x. So we'll find out that x equals 1 half, which means that bond B would uh, asset B would also consist of 1 half as well, because 1 minus x one minus one half equals one half. Now we're going to take the one half for bond, for asset A and we're gonna multiply it by the present value to find out what it consists of. We find out that it's two, four, six, eight, 
0.105. Now we're gonna also uh, accumulate it by the time that the acid is occurring. So we'll do times 1.05 uh, squared to get uh, 2721.085 for A. Now for B's case, it would be, again, present value 4936.21 divided by 2, then times 1.05 to the 6, and it's going to be 3307.49. Now we're going to subtract these, and let's see what we'll get. We're going to get 586, which will be our final answer.